Good afternoon. My name is Mark Sykes. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Realdesk and happy to talk about my experiences with uh, RHB. So first question, what's Realdesk AI? Uh, Realdesk is an end-to-end -end real estate brokerage management platform. It's primarily intended for real estate brokers, their office staff, and their agents. Um, it offers a pretty comprehensive suite of features, so transaction and document management, trust accounting, financial management, payments, entity management, reporting. It's almost like an ERP system, but for a very, very niche and specific uh, vertical. What was the problem we were facing before RHB? As you can imagine from the last answer, uh, this is a platform that has quite a lot of different features. It has sort of a core set of workflows and tasks that people do all of the time. And then there's kind of a long tail of features that are important, but aren't used super, super often. And so it can be difficult from a training perspective and a knowledge perspective for users to master these kinds of things. So we were really looking to come up with some documentation that was lightweight and easy to use, but also gave us the ability to um, reduce the amount of in-person training that we need to do and the number of support calls that people need to make uh, by providing them something that's, again, easy to access and, and easy to use. Um, why RHB over the alternatives? Um, part of this was we were looking to create um, a variety of different channels because different users learn differently. Some are okay with reading documentation, others want videos and guided tours and things like that. So one of the other platforms that we're working on integrating into this whole sort of help stack uh, is Nevadic. Um, and whenever I find a good platform, I look to see what those uh, platforms are using um, for like the other technology that they work with. And Nevadic uses RHB. So uh, that was what directly uh, led me to, to RHB. Um, but once I got into it, I liked it um, in terms of the user interface, really easy to use. I had used Gitbook before, and that was a nightmare. Um, uh, we had thought about using like Notion pages or something like really simple and lightweight like that, but that wouldn't really give us the options that we needed around um, authentication because we wanted to have certain pieces be only accessible with like a password or something um, and others be uh, directly accessible from our website. Having a custom domain was really nice. Um, the one thing that was a bit of a, a little bit annoying on the authentication front was originally we wanted to use like basically the magic link feature and we configured it with that. And then at some point we lost access to that. I think uh, we changed um, our, uh, we had a free trial of something and then it got downgraded or whatever, but um, we made it work with, with basically a password type of uh, solution. Um, but yeah, we got a startup discount as well. It was uh, obviously, you know, enticing in terms of like a really good price point compared to a lot of the alternatives. So quite a few different things there, but really uh, I like the way that it works in terms of um, integrating with, with like a multiple, multiple different uh, types of, of media. Uh, it's really easy to embed different things and, and so on. Uh, what are some results we've seen? Uh, the feedback from our customers has been really good. Um, it's a clean interface and, you know, easy to use documentation. Uh, it's accessible from our website. We've got like our custom domain set up, which has been like really, really nice. Um, from my perspective as the person who's putting together most of the documentation at this point, it's like been really easy to organize in terms of the different spaces. It's easy to move stuff around if I change my mind in terms of how things should be organized. Um, I like the feature where I can have, um, uh, certain pages within a space that are not visible in public uh, so that I can keep it with the rest of the uh, stuff that I'm working on uh, as, as a draft sort of, but I don't have to, you know, immediately expose it right away. So the ability as well to like preview, publish, and then publish officially. Um, I'm still getting a hang, hang of a lot of the features, but um, overall it's been, uh, been really good in that sense. So yeah, we're, uh, quite happy. The team's been quite happy and customers as well with, uh, with RHP so far. And we're looking forward to doing a lot more with it and integrating a lot more content.